Okay, so this is on Arrakis. They have the helicopter bug things. They look like they should have tons of vibration, yet when you're in the cabin, super smooth. Look at that. Oof. And then, oof, so smooth. So I see eight wings. So there looks like there's eight ball and socket joints for each wing, up and down. Probably maybe also rotation, because you need to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to change the angle of attack for the wing as it goes in otherwise the stroke versus the down force, stroke. Otherwise, the up force and the down force equal out, then you don't get anywhere. Yeah, yeah so if you look at like, like a bird thing. flapping or like a, a insect flapping, there's like all kinds of rotational yeah. bendy stuff going on to get the flight to be just right. So these are, this is super complicated engineering, lots of vibration, lots of moving parts, and yet all of that is damped down so that the cabin is super smooth. Nobody is getting jostled around. It's not loud. It's insane. It's the technology is insane. And you're in a sandy environment. So all the grit and all the nasty sand in the lubricated parts, not a problem. This this tech is off the charts. Off from the my, charts. From what I understand about helicopters in sand this environments, sand just wrecks helicopters. It gets in there yeah. and then you have like moving pieces and it just grinds them apart. Right. So a helicopter is complicated, but this looks... This looks even more complicated in my opinion. Yeah. Because this is not how we do helicopters. And there's a good reason, because this is complicated. I mean I mean I'm okay with there being tech that we haven't explored yet. Yeah. Other ideas. Yeah, sure. I, I'm totally cool with innovation. I worry about that this innovation wouldn't work. <laughs> I'm also so I am also okay with cool tech like this that is way more advanced than we have. Mm -hmm. But then they use swords. That yeah. it, the, yeah. the contrast is jarring. Also, where did these come from? Like, the, did the Atreides family bring these from their home planet, or are these for this planet? Like, like the Emperor at some point had a group of people that made these for these, and these just live here on the planet all the time. So if I was making a machine for a desert planet, this is not the design I would go for. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they're brought in from, they've got to be imported at least from elsewhere yeah, yeah, in the yeah, Imperium. Yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, I totally, totally agree. I don't think Arrakis has the technology, nor did they ever have the technology, technological people to build these things. Okay. What I'm asking about is, is did the Atreides family have control of these things from construction to all the way to now. Because if these are dedicated to the planet, like they belong to the planet as a decree mm -hmm. from the Emperor, then the Harkonnens had these and the Harkonnens used these. And then the Harkonnens left these for the Atreides. There's no reason I should, as an Atreides person, there's no reason I should trust these things to not crash. And then now my, my Duke is dead. Or even not the Duke, but like anyone who gets in these things, they're dead. And now, I mean, strategically, that's strategically to be so smart. Because then whoever is ruling the planet after me, after the Harkonnens, then like they, they're stuck to ground travel only. Like, that would be so devastating on this planet. If I was the Atreides, I would want to bring in my own stuff. Yeah. And then if I'm using Harkonnen equipment, I would want my guys inspecting and signing off on all the equipment. Right. And I'm not just going to use Harkonnen material because like they're, they're trying kinda, to any, actively anything sabotage you touched. Me. anything, anything you touched, they, i'd be like mm, not right. sure so just like if i'm moving into their palace the whole palace needs to be inspected and yep. fully cleaned and the whole thing before i set foot in there yeah so that makes me think either these are harkonnen st things that actually sorry they were probably actually maybe imperial Some, that somehow then transfer before. from think, ruler to ruler right and I, then but i think the harkonnens used these before Okay, so then I want I would I would expect Atreides, mechanics, maintainers, inspectors to have done a thorough inspection job on these. To have like taken it apart and reassembled, essentially, right yeah, before, of, before before the Duke gets there at all. Which yeah. which I guess is maybe possible because there was that forward scouting party that came in. I, I mean yeah. I thought it was mostly warrior people, but maybe they spent mm -hmm. like um, field engineers, right? Like maybe okay. I mean, we think of like a forward scouting party as like soldiers, but maybe it's like a f some soldiers, but to defend all the support people like maintainers, inspectors, mm -hmm. uh, mechanics. Yeah, I, think, 
I think that's exactly right. You would send an excursion team, a recon team, I guess. I don't know, but it's like soldiers that make a perimeter. Then you get the engineers and the scientists in there. And like, man, that's, I, I get it. That makes sense. Yeah. So this is like, so the Harkonnen actually have a guy in the wall for an assassination attempt they yeah. left behind. So they miss yeah. things. Would it, would the Har- Harkonnen sabotage these craft? Absolutely. They totally would if they Absolutely, could. Absolutely, right? Right, right, right. Because yeah. then, because then, whoever comes in from the Atreides group, even if it's not the Duke, that the they cannot fly around, they cannot see if there's worm sign. Like the only way you can move around the planet is by like car on the ground that vibrates and the worms come attack That's it. Right. Yeah. And if the Emperor is like, wait, hey, hey, what, what the heck? And then you'd be like, hey, the Atreides people, they can't maintain it. That's their fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's all kinds of pol- politics that could revolve around these craft. That's a good point. So the craft look cool, but Super there's nice. actually a lot going on here in terms of politics and logistics and supplies and military just, capability. Just, physics, just how this thing flies at all. And just and just how this thing flies, absolutely. So Super cool though. Yeah. Super I'd cool. love to fly one. That'd be super cool. 